Hello world. I'm Amy. I'm Allie and we are Lost Our Needles and we're back. <laughs> so mom, what have you been up to in the three and a half weeks since we've done a video? Um, so I've just had a lot of company. So my cousin and her husband came to stay with us for several days. Um, her brother, my cousin, had a 75th birthday. So we were celebrating that. Um, and then I just had some dear friends from Michigan stay with us for a few days. And then we went up to Sedona for a few days and did some hiking up there. And of course we did some shopping um, and just had a really nice time. They went to spend a couple of days with some other friends on the other side of Phoenix. And uh, we're going to the Luke Air Show tomorrow with them. So we'll drive over there tomorrow and spend one more day with them. But it's just mm -hmm. been really busy. Not a lot of time to stitch, so I won't have much to show or talk about this time, but Allie more than made up for it. So you won't probably won't hear much from me today, but we'll see, because I do like to talk. Yeah, um, after our last video, I had about a week left of school, so there was not much before spring break, end of quarter. So all you teachers out there know that end of quarter gets a little crazy with trying to get grades in and grades posted. And of course, high school students love to wait until the very last minute to turn in late work. Um, so that was fun. The first week I like had no stitching, um, but then I've been on spring break for the last two weeks. That's right. I said two weeks because in my school district, we get two weeks off for fall and spring break. So um, that's been fun. Did a day trip up to Sedona with uh, my sister and some friends. We went on a hike. Um, my sister and her friend have like a books Instagram account. And so we went and checked out a small uh, local bookstore and wine bar, which was a lot of fun. What's the name um, of it? Changing Hands. And then the bar inside is like coffee, tea, wine, beer. And that was first draft. Um, so that was a lot of fun. My friend found a first edition. No, not a first edition. They're like basically all first editions. A signed, signed. edition of the fourth uh, Iron Flame, which is the second book in the Imperium series, also known as like the fourth wing series. So that was just a really cool experience, a lot of fun, another kind of like day trip. And then there's been stitching and reading and spending time with family and friends and all the good things. Yeah, good. So it's been, I go back to school on Monday. I've done a little bit of schoolwork, not quite as much as I would have liked, but oh well, I'm ready to see my kids, so. We've had beautiful weather here in mm -hmm. Phoenix, nice during the day, cool in the evening. It's just been perfect weather, which is the reason everybody lives down here. It's for these winter months, so spring months. March is the reason, people, like people think of March when they think of living in Arizona. They don't just don't think about June, July, August, August September. September, October. Yeah, anyway, so, so all is well, all's good. But with that, you don't really have any finishes or fully finishes. I have no finishes or fully finishes. I have not had a chance to do a whole lot of stitching. Okay. So started a couple new projects, but. Okay, well I did, um, took advantage of spring break. And so I finished my XOX at O Spool by Crafty Blue Bonnet. And I put like the magnet on the back. So some of you guys have seen this before, but this is my latest. And it just snaps right in there. So and it's beautiful. And you can change that out depending on the month, the season. Yeah, so I have the turkey spool. I have the tree farm spool. Um, I have the pattern for the daisy spool, which I want, or not the, okay. the sunflower spool that I want to get started sooner. But I have that. And then on our last floss tube, I had finished um, the Be Mine pattern by the Camping Stitcher. And so I turned that into a pillow. Um, much better. I did this pillow much better. There's still a couple learning curves, but much improved. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. And then you guys were all so kind in your comments about, oh, we learn and it's a good memory. And I agree with all of that. However, um, Tammy has a huge heart and she reached out to us via our email and offered to fix my pillow for me. <laughs> And poor Tammy, I think she, uh, it was a challenge, I'm sure. But so I got this back in the mail. She put the Rick Rack in there the way the Rick Rack's supposed to be. And she put a little bit more fill in it. And you can tell she didn't have much of a margin to work with on the pattern, but she did a beautiful job with it. Thank you, Tammy. Your heart is so <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I showed it to mom yesterday and she's like, 
Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> um, and thank you for all the advice in your note, Tammy. It meant a lot. Yes, she was thrilled with the notes. That will yeah. help her a lot. Each one will get a little bit better. Every bit. Practice so, makes perfect. Yeah. I also have some like better tools this time, I think. Yeah. Lots of tools. Yeah. Good. So what have you been stitching on? So, um, I'm not sure if I've shown you the progress I've made on gl my Glendon Place, um, uh, the Poltergeist, uh, Pirate. Poltergeist Pirates, um, and it's been a while even if I have. So I'll just show you, yeah, there's the pattern. I just think it's so fun. Um, and I've got the, the moon and his wind and then half of the ghost done and starting the mast of the boat. So that's really all I've done. I haven't had Sundays to work on it between company and getting ready for company. Um, I think you finally have the name of the linen. It's the 28 count bang by Cashel yeah, Linen. It's the called for linen with it. It's really cool. It has all these colors and bleach effects and it truly looks like a very cool starry night. So um, that's what I've been working on. Well, I haven't had a chance to work on it for a little bit, but hopefully now my schedule will get back to normal and that will be my Sunday stitch. Oh, the life of the retired. Yeah. So many places to go, so many people to see. Yes, and then I started the Key to My Heart by Brenda Gervais. Um, and I've been doing it with all the called for colors. And it's on a 40 count Newcastle cream linen. I think I told you it's the first time I've ever worked on 40 count and I'm really loving it. And this is, is this is the, I wanna get all the red letters done and then have fun with the blue, but I got a little burnout on it, especially now that Valentine's is more than a month over. So um, I'm taking a break a little bit with that one, um, but I love it and I'll get bored with a couple of the other things and go back to it. So it's just a really nice one to work on. And then also my progress is that they've seen, because I think they've seen that and then we'll do our new starts. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um, first off, a couple of you responded about fourth wing after uh, sharing my progress on my Tiernan and Darna. So um, I hope you guys are all enjoying that. I know a couple of you mentioned that you're going to read it. Um, it's fabulous. My sister actually just made a cup. I should post that on our Instagram. Um, you want to bring it over? I'll show you after this. But first, so here's you, the progress. My do, my younger daughter's hobby is making this tumblers with the. Um... So there's like a war college that's a main setting in the books, and so she's like, ah, I need a cup. So she turned her Stanley old Stanley into this. So and what color was it originally? Pink? Yeah. Pink. So um, we'll tag her Instagram in uh, because she has fun making these. And anyway, so the, we like to brag about her. This is where I'm at with this. We can't um, get her to cross stitch, but she makes fabulous tumblers. So um, it's the Tiernan and Darna fourth wing by Niche Stitches. Um, and then I traded out the yellow for some metallic gold and I'm super excited about it. It's on um, 28 count Lugana from Fabrics by Stephanie and Carmel Macchiato, but I really love the metallic gold. I think it just, just makes pops. it stand out. And you know, one of the dragons in the story is gold, not a yellow dragon. So I was like, let's do gold. And it's the first time I've actually, I used some of the beeswax that some of you guys have recommended and women at the attic recommended it. Um, and it was like, game changer. It makes so. the metallic easier to work with? Mm -hmm. okay. Much. I'll need to do that when I get to the poltergeist. Um, and then I was also, <sighs> I've been working, I love this design, my hands-on design, this like uh, chalk talk, let's talk spring. I don't love the black fabric. You guys were wonderful. I got a light board because like the white towel you guys recommended wasn't quite enough. I got the white board. And so I had like my stitching lamp over and the light board under. Um, so I got some progress on it. I just wasn't having a lot of fun with it. So definitely like you can see, I like outlined the letters in the green and got the teardrops. And I think I did the whole has sprung. Um, You're just not enjoying stitching it. Yeah, I'm tempted to like, to just throw this in the DNF pile 
and not finish it. I'm thinking about restarting it and doing it on, uh, we got Dusk by, is it Picture This Plus? I think so. Um, and try it on a different fabric. I just don't know. I was, I'm not loving, I can see why so many of you have just been like, nope, I don't do black anymore. And she has young eyes compared to some of us. I just, I love how it looks. I'm just not having fun with it. So I haven't worked on it in a couple weeks. And if you're not so, having fun on it, then you right, don't life's do too it. short to stitch things you're not having fun on. Yep. So, so what have you started then? Okay, so the one thing I've been so <coughs> we all know Memorial Day is just around the corner. Um, so I have I, this was one of the first patterns I bought getting back into stitch because I love the Fourth of July. I love um, Americana. Not a ton of it, but I love having pieces around because I am patriotic. Um, anyway, so this was one of the new patterns I found coming back into stitching that I've had, and I finally just said I'm starting it. It's by Sweet Wing Studio, which I've never really heard of, but it's called Forever in Peace. And it's all cross stitches, but she does such a neat pattern with it. It almost looks like you're doing some unique stitches like Hardinger type stitches but you're not it's all cross stitches um, and I'm stitching it on um, color and cottons 32 count um, it's a linen and it's called boardwalk it's a Belfast 32 count boardwalk it's a really pretty neutral and it's just a very neutral not too gray not too brown it's beautiful I'm using all of the called for um, DMC? Flosses, oh, um, no, yeah, no, they're not the DMCs. The only one I'm not using is when we went to Attic Work or at the Attic. They were out of Classic Color Works Blackbird, so she actually suggested that I use instead of the DMC 310. She actually recommended that I use the Anchor Black because she thought it was a richer black than even the DMC ones, and she actually liked it better than the Blackbird. And I have to say, it's a beautiful black. Anyway, so this is the one thing I've been able to work on. It's something I can pick up and um, work on when I don't have a whole lot of time or driving up with people. Anyway, so this is how far along I am. That's looking really great, Mom. It's coming along nicely. And I have discovered, um, I know a lot of you already use the Q-Snaps, and I've been wanting to try it, but I, you know, I already had spring, spring forms and stuff that I inherited from my mother-in-law. So I was trying to use that, but the fabric just kept getting loose in it and then I'd have to stretch it. It was just a pain. So I bought an eight inch Q-snap and I'm telling you that holds the fabric tight. I can see why everybody loves the Q-snaps. I will be probably pretty much going Q-snap now. That's a totally new thing then from when I was stitching before and it really holds the fabric well. Um, and uh, I really like stitching with it. I like that you can adjust the sizes depending on the frame sizes you have. So I've become a, a big fan of the Q-Snap. So that's all I've pretty much been working on. Um, I'm anxious to get started on a beach pattern too, but that'll be the next time. Yeah, you know what's interesting about the DMC versus Anchor though? On that Taranen and Darna, I ran out of 310 and switched over to the Anchor. Uh -huh. And it's like interchangeable. I couldn't see any difference when I switched over. Yeah, the, attic, so, the woman at the attic that said she thought it was a little bit richer, but they're owned by the same company now yeah. anyway. So their their dye lots are probably very similar. <laughs> it worked for me and, because I was yeah, like, yeah. oh crap, I'm out of 310. Yeah, so anyway, and okay. I like it. It's a nice rich black. So that's all I've been managing to squeeze in. Hey, that's that's detailed work. For like not having a lot of time, you've made a lot of good progress on yeah. that. Like that's and I'm done with something. company till May when my sister and my brother in law come to visit in May. So I'll have a little bit more time between now and then. I can't believe the school year will be over by then. I know. We're already in the starting the fourth quarter on Monday. Um okay, well I So what else have you been did you start something new? I started two new things actually. Um I was kind of in the okay, spring, but let's start stitching for summer too because it's gonna be here really quick. Like I said, like two more months and we're on summer. And so I had gotten this pattern a couple months ago from 123 Stitch as the Primrose Cottage All-American. And so I started this and I realized 
from our first trip to the attic when I kitted up the um, Valentine's truck. Yeah. I had the called for fabric. Okay. And so it's my first time stitching on the country mocha. And I can see why so many of you guys stitch on it. Like, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Um, so I have enough. I'm going to be able to do several projects on it. My sister actually wants me to make her the Taranen and Darna mm. one on this fabric. Do you have more besides just this? I think that's going to get your freedom and your truck done, and that's about it. Well, no, that's the two. Like, I'm going to buy more. Okay. But they would fit the freedom and the truck on it. Yes. So, which was the plan. Watch out. So, this is what I got done. I actually made, like, some... I'm pretty happy with my progress. You made a lot of progress. So, it's been fun. I like the colors. I'm using all the called fours. Thank goodness mom had the Louisiana uh, hot sauce from Classic Color Works. Yes. Nope, Weeks Dye Works. Just kidding. Weeks Dye Works. <laughs> and I was like, hey, mom, do you happen to have this? Like, I don't want to know that, like, I have everything else from, like, Joann's and Michael's. So, and then last time I mentioned, I don't think it had come in yet, but I signed up for the Forbidden Fiber Co's book club for February. And so it came in right around when spring break was starting. Um, and I, I know some of you saw it if you're a follow us on Instagram because I did a reel on it, but the book was Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Definitely recommend it. It's like a very like nice chiclet with a little bit more heart. Chiclet? That's what a friend like. So someone is, um, I know her from church, but she worked for Queen Creek and she messaged me on Instagram or um, Facebook when she saw it. She's like, she called it chiclet. It's, it's, it's a love story. It's a good so, book. Okay. Emily Henry is becoming like a really popular author. Okay. But she, like, so it's she light called it reading chiclet. though, right? It's light, kind of a romance, yeah. kind of a. Easy it's not read. some epic fantasy. Okay. It's not some tearjerker. I found myself left like the banter is is really funny. Um, it's low on spice. It was just a good book. It was okay. one of like the seven so that came I read with over the Spring Fiber, fiber Co. Yes. Ben fiber. And then, so she also sends us a pattern that goes with it. And so this is the pattern that came with it, romance. We loved with a love that was more than love. And then it has the tree. And then the cool, like this is, I will be doing this again. Um, she sent us fabric that goes for the pattern. And so this is, I have it for 28 count Lugana. At some point I might switch over to linen, but this is Babbling Brook by Forbidden Fiber Co. So that's you can see I got like pretty, the border going on it. That's pretty fabric too. That's mm -hmm. a beautiful sky yes. fabric. <laughs> if I thought I'd have enough, I might have done the Spring Quaker on it. But, and then to make the kit even better, she sends you all, like if you go for the pattern, all the pattern has all called for forbidden fiber flosses. Oh. Which, well, she really floss included down. a lot in the so, kit, didn't she? She gave us all the called for flosses, which are just some really pretty pinks and a purple and some grays. And um, so I have, haven't done a lot. I just started this like last weekend. So I had just, I was just, okay, let's get the border. Let's make sure I have that right. Um, you know Give me the, let me have the floss just to put them on the white background because the way you showed them, you really couldn't see okay. them very well. So you can see like which ones I've used because I didn't like refold them up a couple times. Um, but I had a lot of fun. Like I wanted to wait until I was well into the book. Beautiful plum, mm -hmm. plum color. Um, to start pretty. the pattern. I didn't want to like start the pattern before I started reading the book. Um, so now I have the pattern to do. And then I think this week there's supposed to be like a Zoom call that you can get on and talk about the book and share like your progress on the stitching. And Are you going to try and do that? I think so. I think it's Tuesday, is like the last Tuesday or the fourth Tuesday of the month. Okay. I might be helping my principal at a job fair if okay. we couldn't get all the hires hiring done over spring break. Um, so if I can, I will, cause that was just fun. So if you're interested, I know they're doing the March was mystery, but I hadn't gotten this one before you had to sign up for the next one. So Forbidden Fiber Co, if you do another book of the month, I, 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 I'm game. You're in it. You're in you got it. so much for your money because you got the book, the fabric of choice, the floss, the pattern. It was really reasonable for everything that you got. Okay, good. It's good to know. And so yeah, those were my those were my new starts. I've been really going back and forth between the All American 
and Taryn and Darna. I have it all outlined, but the filling in is a beast of its own. That's a lot of stitching okay. to fill it in. Okay. Um, and then working on the pattern, just framing it. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been stitching on. Well, do you want, so we had a viewer, Allie's been talking about the fourth wing books, right? Mm -hmm. And so tell the story. So, because I'll mess it up. Handcrafted by Harvey tagged us in a post that she has a new project bag that was dragon themed, inspired by Fourth Wing. And she was saying how she was going to start reading Fourth Wing when she goes on vacation, which is actually like, I think today? this weekend. I thought it was today, yeah. She definitely had an updated uh, picture if you go to her Instagram account that she was had started fourth wing. So uh, Harvey, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but so I went on her Etsy and followed her link and I bought one of her bags. Her so, project bags are incredible. So this is embroidered, oh, an embroidered dragon. Um, and I just love it. And then the inside fabric, her stitching is yeah. beautiful. Um, it's just like a beautiful, beautiful bag. This is probably one of like the best put together bags. I'm trying to see if I can have, there's her business card. So Lisa, not Harvey, sorry. Sorry, Lisa. But there, and you can find her on Etsy. Um, but, and then she was just so sweet. She gave and us we'll like- tag it down below. Yeah. But she get like, she added in a little floss bed um, and some floss drops that are dragon eggs. It's just, so much fun. So Taryn and Darna are definitely going in this bag now. So thank you, Lisa, and your bags are wonderful. And while <laughs> and we were looking there. around her Etsy shop, you guys know I'm all about the ocean, pirates. My husband and I had a pirate and mermaid thing going on. Um, and while I was there, I happened to see this one with a seahorse. And I didn't see what the inside fabric looked like until it arrived in person. And it's a crusty old sea captain. I know the light kind of makes it blurry, but um, just different different pictures of sea sea captains, you know, with pipes and kind of thing. And it's surrounded by anchors and starfish and things you'd find in the ocean. And then she has the little charms on the zipper pull there. Just beautifully made. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I. Just tickled pink, and I love supporting small companies, and it's a yeah. new shop, and she's just trying to get it to take off. So, honestly, as somebody who does sewing, um, not like that kind of sewing, but it's really well made. I know so many people out there make bags, and they are beautifully done, but here's a new one, and she's doing kind of different fabrics than you normally see. So yeah. Yeah, I love the really embroidered fun. on the back. Yeah, and the embroidered piece on the back really adds to it. Yeah. So we got that, and then for more haul, yes. um, I do the for Forbidden Fiber Coat is apparently like my cloth of choice right now. Um, their uh, fabric of the month for March was this beautiful green. It's a very beautiful model, and green. it's called Lucky. And again, I got it in the Lugana uh, because when I first started stitching, that was what I found I like stitching on the most. Um, so it's a 28 count Lugana, but it's just gorgeous. Um, do we want to talk about yeah, that Yeah, and then... Um, so with that, mom had ordered the Spring Quaker for us both to do together. Because we loved Primrose Cottage's Valentine's Day Quaker so much. And I, purple is my second favorite color. And this just really spoke to me. So we ordered the pattern, and then we ordered two finishing kits that comes with the backing for to make a pillow. If you want to make a pillow, it comes with the floss, the rick rack. And if you make pillows like Primrose Cottage does, you need the patch on the back to close up the hole. So it comes with all of that. But I didn't order any fabric because I want to go through my stash and happen to find fiber on a whim, um, hand dyed 32 count Belfast linen. And it's called Kunzite? Kunzite. Um, it's a very, very lavender, pale lavender. I'm hoping the light will do this fabric, but it's really purple. So the floss will go on here. 
It'll stand out enough that you can see the pattern without overwhelming. Yeah, it's gonna be really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's just a really pale purple, but it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, maybe you yeah. shows it a little better. Anyway, so that's our stash between the project bag and then the yeah. Primrose Cottage. And I'm gonna do this Spring Quaker on the Lucky. Which I think is gonna be a beautiful so. springy look. I didn't want it to be ha purple and green. Sometimes looks a little Halloweeny, so I was like checking with mom. I was like, "No, those right, are very spring. a spring combo, not a Halloween so, combo." So that'll be fun. Um, and then, because I could, and it's spring break, I went to the attic on Friday and had some fun. Mom needed some floss. I had a project I wanted to kit up that I'm changing how they how they called the floss a little bit. Um, so I have some attic call. And I couldn't go with her because I was still up in Sedona. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. Mm. So. I did some shopping in Sedona. Nothing needle related, but. Um, first off, they had some of their market haul. And two of the things from market that I was like, yes, I absolutely need this. Is the Primrose Cottage uh, Patriotic Quaker. I love it. I love the collars. I'm excited. I love that down at the bottom it's like 1776. This one would be a fun one to keep in my classroom when it's not 4th of July. Didn't you say you ordered a dough bowl from Chantel, Chantel's 141? Yes. Chantel 141? Yes, I did that too. Spring break is not good for my wallet. <laughs> Time to go back to work. Um, and then also this Erin Elizabeth American flag. I love the quiltiness of it. So those are like my two must haves. And so when the attic had both of them, I was like, yes, please. Please and thank you. And then I was checking out. <laughs> and the wonderful lady was like, did, did you, you see, the, see the floss pack? And I said, no, I could barely, like, I, I almost didn't, like, it was, like, hidden behind a couple other Erin Elizabeth patterns. I almost missed it. Um, and I was like, no. So she comes over. And shows me the floss pack with the dinky dies. So, silk. And neither <sighs> one of us have stitched with silk. No, but I was like, oh, those are pretty. Just, just throw them in. And everybody keeps saying, once you go silk, you don't go back. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, I have the dinky dye silk that is the called for, for the Erin Elizabeth American flag. So. And then... <laughs> To finish the story, um, the spring just cross stitch has this. Uh, and you did talk about this the last yes. time, right? Because I brought the fabric last time, so the fabric is not new, but we didn't have the pattern. So this is the pattern. It's called um, Current Mood. The designer is Fit Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. And when I saw this in the magazine, it reminded me of an artist I really like called Leon. Uh, his name is Leonid Aframov. He's Mexican, I believe, or he's well, was. I think he's, he's like Russian he's descent, but um, um, lived in Mexico. But his colors are just super bright. I have several pieces of his artwork up in my house. And even mom was like, oh, that looks like the artist you like. So I'm changing up the colors a little bit. Instead of the white background, I'm gonna do this and make it like a rainy night. And then I got more of the Louisiana hot sauce and I'm gonna make the umbrella red. So it really pops. And did then, they help you there pick out colors or did you do this all on your own? I did this on my own. Well done. So, um, and then there's grass at the bottom. It's black on the pattern, but I was like, oh, let's bring in some green. And then I'm gonna keep her silhouette just black with black some gray. gray. I don't know if this gray is gonna be too light now that I see like what fabric the call for was, but it's gonna be black and gray. And then for the rain, instead of doing all the fun colors for the rain, I got more metallic. And I thought I'd make the rain metallic y. Like the light is shining off of it. Truly have the lady be the focus of the whole piece. Yeah, so the umbrella is going to be like the eye catching red. So we'll see. This is the first time I've ever truly taken a pattern and changed. basically changed everything about the colors and change the fabric and everything. I think this will be the first time I don't do call for fabric. Yeah, there's nothing, you've um, changed everything on that one. Other than her silhouette. 
Well, yeah. yeah. You so itself, just that's a, something I want to get started on soon. I think it's really pretty. Um, I can see it going in my bedroom. Yeah, it reminds me of the so. thing, April showers bring me flowers. That, yeah. I would have titled that April showers, but anyway. But I so, think it's gonna look nice when you're done. Yeah, so I have a couple new starts. I have the current mood and I have the spring Quaker and now the patriotic Quaker and the American flag. Um, I gotta get finishing on things. Otherwise You've got a lot of projects going on, that's for sure. I don't. I have some kitted up and, not, and then I have the mirabilia that I wanna start this summer. Um, who has time to work? Yep, it's time so, to work, so. Oh so yeah, so those are our stitchy plans. Yep. You've mentioned no more guests. What are your plans for the next couple weeks? Just to get laundry caught up, you know, tax time is due, get that taken care of, get everything organized for the accountant, um, get the taxes done. I'm getting my house painted too, the paint down here. You know, it's a builder's house. They use builder grade paint, but I'm gonna get the house repainted because it's starting to look tacky in some areas. And just kind of get back into a routine and get some more, just organization done. You know, the never ending, taking care of a house things that never cease. So, okay. and enjoy the beautiful spring weather, spring weather here in Arizona because it is perfect. We have about one week of spring. We go from uh, no, 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 early no, no, spring no. to spring to uh, blazing hot in a matter of about a month. Yeah, we've got about another month of nice weather, hopefully. So, yeah. And I just have fourth quarter. We have, like teachers, you know, it's testing season. So I think I have less than, I think I have like 35 days left of school before my kids take their AP test. And like five or six of those are gonna be weird schedules because we have state testing. ACT testing where we have mm -hmm. the kids for like, actually I don't see the kids on ACT day. So all the fun stuff, but mm -hmm. prom and all the fun like, yeah, I love oh, it. And Kelsey and Travis, Mike and Carol say hello. Had to um, get that in there. Yeah, so life is good and it's good to be back. Felt like three weeks was a really long time between floss tubes. Yeah, um, man, it was more like three and a half, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. So. so I would agree, uh, I just watched uh, the Carolina Stitchers and they're saying how like two weeks is almost like too short, but three weeks feels almost too long. So yes, guys, I was thinking two and a half weeks is the sweet spot, but usually we film on a Wednesday because that works for us. Yeah. We're breaking our pattern and filming on a Saturday today. Yep. And then have you watched any other floss tube? I have not had time. Weird, um, having a life. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I did watch uh, Nicole Spore talk about what her next stitch along is gonna be. Um, that'll be cute, doing the Biscor news. Um, that looked like that would be an interesting project to do. And her finish of the tree farm spool. I'll have to go check that it, out. Whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, um, check that out. That was like, she put it in a snow globe. It was really cool how she did it. You could Very definitely common. see her like craftiness coming through. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a rainy day last week and it was so wonderful. I kind of curled up, but also did chores and I had a candle going and cross stitch to like two needles pulling thread and closest the floss thing. boss and cousins. Yeah, and closest thing we get to winter down here is a rainy day. So yeah. So um, and, and then also, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the, um, who does the spool patterns? Um, Annabelle from Crafty Blue Bonnet. Crafty Blue Bonnet, yeah, April from Crafty Blue Bonnet. She's bringing out some state ones, um, and she's done California, I think, did New York, South Carolina, Michigan Texas, just came out. And she's going to be releasing Michigan in April 1st, on April 1st, or somewhere close to there that, anyway. Better not be an April Fool's joke, April. Yes. Just saying. <laughs> Anyway, they are really cute. She's doing a great job with that whole series. So I'm really excited to have, that one would be, I think, a fairly quick stitch. But go check um, April Crafty Blue Bonnet. Her stuff is adorable. They're nice little minis. I definitely want to do the Michigan one. Yes. So I'd like to do one from every state I've lived in. That'd be cool. So, Which we, okay. We just need Arizona. I think yep. all the other ones you've lived in, except for Florida. They have, she hasn't done North Carolina yet. Okay. Oh, okay. And I anyway, don't know if she's done Florida yet, but anyway. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure being back. Um, floss tubers keep floss tubing and stitchers just keep stitching. And thank you for taking time out of your day to watch us. We yeah. really, truly appreciate it. Happy spring. Bye, guys. Bye.